The master bedroom is my biggest passion project. I painted the bed, the bedside tables, I put up the pink wallpaper, I painted the large mural on the wall and I also painted the balcony furniture. Hi, my name is Preeti Prabhu and welcome to my home. When we got married, we both had a house full of furniture. I had a two bed living kitchen and he came with a three bed living kitchen and the only thing that we needed to do at that time was to see how we can fuse the two things together and create a home. We worked with what we had and then did Kaam Chalao. It took me almost five to six years to to downsize the five bedrooms and fit them into three bedroom house. When we moved to this house, I wanted the pleasure of setting up the house or, or at least a room from scratch. So I decided to do the master bedroom from scratch. I got the bed uh, custom made. I told my vendor not to paint it because I wanted to paint it myself and I wasn't sure if he would get my color right. So it came raw. Let me see if I can find your picture here. So here, this is how it looked. And then one evening I put on an audio book and painted the bed and the bedside table. This beautiful, beautiful shade of green. The bedside tables are vintage. It's from my friend Minu Kanonkar. I will probably have to do a separate video on Minu because I have so many of her beautiful pieces of furniture. She has a wonderful um, workshop in Bangalore and if you love vintage and antique furniture, it is a must-see in Bangalore. The pink wallpaper is a peel and stick. Uh, when Asian Paints released their peel and stick wallpapers, they sent me this sampler and I put up the whole thing on my own and broke my back. You know, DIY is a lot of joy but it's also a lot of back-breaking work which I think I signed up for, so I'm not complaining. The kindergarten mural is also done by me and I was trying to get the Pahalgam view, this one, trying to make an abstract version of this in my bedroom. And one night I set up the tripod and started to paint. had so much fun painting it. It kind of looks kiddish but I sort of loved it and yeah my most recent kindergarten mural. And for some weird reason my camera stopped recording the time lapse so this is the only portion I have in a couple of other shots. This is how it looks now. It has a very beautiful dreamy kind of feel to it which I think is nice I don't know what do you think I used acrylic color to create the entire mural the abstract landscape and then I whitewashed it I think three or four times with white to get this kind of dreamy effect looks a little amateurish but as long as I love it nothing else matters. My bed is a solid mango wood and I've had several people write to me and ask if they can copy the design and of course being a decor blogger you want people to copy what you have in your home so yeah why not. The mirror and the bangle stand both are again Minu. The little pink shelf is from my friend Neha who runs Art by Armaya. And these two little windows I got from Goa. We got married in Goa and the day before our wedding we were busy roaming the streets of Panjim and in one of the stores I found these tiny little windows and, and I just had to have them. They are here in my bedroom and they look so adorable. I always 
always wanted a Himalayan salt lamp and I did so much research on the benefits of lighting a salt lamp and what it does and what it doesn't and and I was so confused and finally I said no I'm just going to place an order and buy one I got this one from Amazon and I cannot tell you how beautiful it is I realized I don't care if any of the benefits of the Himalayan salt lamp actually are true or no it looks so so beautiful that you know you one must have a Himalayan salt lamp in their home I was shopping in Safina Plaza one day and I found the perfect rug for my bedroom for the green and pink theme that I have and this is actually a hand knotted one and I think I got it for a steal The little fiber Ganesha that you see in the corner is something that I got for myself from my very first salary. So it's a very very special piece. And it also reminds me of my dad. The necklace stand is actually a calligraphy brush holder. bedroom also has an attached balcony and for some reason we don't really spend a lot of time here but it's beautiful nonetheless again I bought the chairs from bamboo bazaar and painted them myself it has been so gloomy and rainy in Bangalore this past week just listen to this I had been putting off shooting this video for a long time because it was too dark and gloomy and then I simply gave up and said I'm just gonna do it. I have this beautiful teak wood shelf on one side and I've mixed in a lot of decor elements with a lot of my plants. Mixing beautiful things with plants and letting the plants take over has this beautiful mysterious gorgeous feel to it it almost feels like you're in some kind of a castle and there's so many mysterious stories around when I was shooting this video I was like I must spend a lot of time here I don't know why I don't we usually spend a lot of time in the dining and the living room and very little in the bedrooms bedroom is just like the cozy space for us to retire and, and chill after a long day of work. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to create a slice of joy in your home if you haven't done it already. In the next video, I will bring you some hard facts as to why you should care about decorating your home if you're not doing it already. If you are, then wait to go. See you next time. Bye.